Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772 and today I am bringing you a video to show off kind of my Halo shelf slash part of my Halo collection. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, now I want to point out uh, before I really start that most of these are action figures. Uh, it also, I will also show off my Halo books, games, comics, all of that. But most of these are action figures and uh, this is not all of my action figures. I will be showing you the action figures I have on the shelf, which is either canning characters or figures that I use to represent canning characters, um, either from the games, the books, the comics, or whatnot. Um, oh, you know, yeah, just pretty much canning characters, and then there's a bunch of books. My, uh, like, multiplayer Spartans, like random ODST, random Elite, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have most of them in a bin. Or on another shelf just kind of sitting there that doesn't look so nice so yeah um, so yeah with that little disclaimer out of the way let's get started so I'll kind of go back and show you guys a full view real quick all the way up there go down pretty much all the way down here <clears throat> now most of my video games are on this are on these bottom shelves most of them are Xbox games uh, here we have a custom figure I made of Agent Washington from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. Um, he is my favorite character from the show, so, you know, why not? Um, I had an extra Master Chief figure, um, plus the three multiplayer flags. We go up a shelf, and maybe light it up a bit more. We have three figures, which is Cortana... Um, from Halo 3, or, you know, Honor Base and everything, I need to clean off this shelf a little too. I'm going to be remodeling it soon, so I wanted to get a video before I remodeled it. Um, so we have Cortana, uh, Halo 3 Master Chief, and a Halo Wars Black Spartan. Um, this shelf and this shelf are empty for now. We'll move up to here, and this is my only one that I didn't really put canon characters on. I just have some of my Halo 4 multiplayer Spartans on here, which is um, a purple CIO. I believe I'm saying these right. Um, a red and white blue soldier, and a red and a blue uh, Spartan warrior, plus we have a uh, blue elite here, which pretty much is the red elite, but I painted him to look like Joel, thinking that we weren't going to get a Joel Mundala, Mundra, Mundala, however you say his name figure, but we eventually got one, so I painted over some of the stuff that made him specifically look like Joel, and there he is. Uh, we go over to this shelf, and we have Halo 4 Cortana, and the Master Chief in his cryopod, which I think looks really cool. We go over to this shelf. Sadly, there is no Romeo to go with the rest of his squad, but uh, we have Dare in the far back there, Buck kind of in the front, uh, Mickey back there, Rookie up here, Dutch back there, and then uh, Rookie with his visor gear at the far right, and then right here we have a Halo 3 um, version of an ODST. We move up a shelf, and these are just, you know, miscellaneous characters who I've either, I either have on other shelves or, you know, um, just need here because they're still alive and whatnot. So, um, that is the Master Chief, obviously. We have Veronica Dare without her helmet. We have the uh, Arbiter Thelvedom from Halo 3. We have June without his helmet. And then here is a custom, and I know that it's uh, not perfectly accurate, but I use it as a Naomi figure. Uh, pretty much a blue Mark V. Um, I only really paid attention to the helmet when I was making that figure, so I know that the shoulder pads and most likely the, uh, the breastplate are off. Uh, and aside from that, it's a male figure, since the Reach figures are uh, gendered, I guess, uh, separated by gender, since there was like Cat and the other pink Air Assault Spartan, and... Those are pretty much the only female figures we got, so um had to use a male one, but it doesn't really matter. We go over to this shelf, one of my favorites. Um, on this side, we can see Red Team from Halo Wars. Here in the front, we have Jerome. Here in the back, I hope I get their names right, because I think that there's something different on each of their shoulders, but I can't even see their shoulders right now. Uh, Jerome, I believe, is the one with the rocket launcher, and then Alice is the one with the assault rifle. And then next to them are three Air Assault Spartans. Um, these are not accurate to the character, really accurate at all to the characters I'm trying to represent them as. But uh, we have Jai, Mike, and Andrea 
or uh, uh, Adriana, wow, not Andrea, got The Walking Dead on my mind, uh, Adriana to represent Grey Team, um, one of the teams from the Halo novel, uh, or the team from the Halo novel, Cold Protocol. We move over here and we have Spartan Gabriel Thorne, uh, Spartan Paul DeMarco, he was just pretty much advertised as a blue Spartan soldier, and Spartan Sarah Palmer, or Command, Spartan Commander Sarah Palmer. Spartans aren't really supposed to have rank though, so you know what else. Um, I'm hoping that they come out with more like Naomi Ray and other members of a fire team, Majestic. We go up here and I have my elites. We have uh, Ratas Vadami, or Vad Vadum. I, I'm not sure how to say his last name. I apologize, but um, he is one of my favorite figures and actually one of my most recent ones because I unfortunately didn't get him when he was out. So I bit the bullet eventually and got him online. The only real ones I'm missing now are... Uh, U Uze and, uh, wow, I forgot their names, the third and fourth player characters from uh, Halo 3 and also characters from the uh, book Halo Hunters in the Dark. Um, so yeah, we have Ratas, um, we have Thel in his Halo 2 armor, and then we have Jewel Manduli. Um, I plan on, you know, kind of redoing this shelf eventually. I am assuming, and this is, this might be a big assumption, that, uh, the Halo 5 line will eventually come out with a Halo 5 Arbiter, so when that is the case, I will be putting Jewel, uh, and the Halo 5 Arbiter together, um, and once I get that three pack, he'll probably uh, be going with the three elites that come in that pack the Halo 3, uh, Thelvadum, and the other two, Uze and, uh, well, I can't even remember their name, Saram or something. Or it might be Uze Saram. I don't even know. I'm, I'm sorry for butchering it. Uh, but yeah, uh, just kind of my plans for the future of this shelf. Really loving this shelf. Um, here we have a figure of Kelly from the package, 087. Uh, we have a figure of Frederick from the package, which is uh, 104. We have a figure of a gray and green CIO. Um, I use it to represent Linda. I know that it's not really too accurate, but uh, still. And then we have a Halo 4 Master Chief. Now, um, I know what the first wave of uh, Halo 5 figures are going to be, and Fred and Kelly are both going to come out in that. So I'm going to move these two to a different place on the shelf. Uh, probably we'll put Fred and Kelly with Halo 5 Master Chief. You know, do some cool stuff. It'll be cool. Um, and then Linda will obviously come out eventually. I'll also have a shelf with Locke and Tanaka and Buck and Vale and all of them. It, I, I, have, I love the shelf. I, I keep constantly thinking about how I uh, need to change it when new figures are released. But um, here we have the Erdidact, or uh, Sundred. I forgot the rest of his name, but um, he is the Didact who appears in Halo 4. Um, not the one who is the main character of Halo Cryptum. Uh, that guy is the Isodidact and my favorite Halo character, and hopefully they'll come out with an action figure of him soon, even if it's based on his uh, non-canon look in the Halo Legends uh, anime. And then, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. Um, and then we have 343 Guilty Spark or Chakas and uh, Sentinel, which I think is really cool. Uh, and then we move up here, and I have a Silver Master Chief. And then we have Noble Team. So starting over here, we have Noble 1, Carter. Noble 2, Cat. Noble 3, June. No Noble 4, Emil. Noble 5, George. Noble 6, pretty much the default player character skin. And then uh, this was the old Noble 6, I believe his name is Thom. And then we'll move over here, and this is pretty much my uh, dead character shelf. And once again, these are not all 100% uh, accurate. So we'll start over here. This is a Marine, and I'm using him to represent the Marine who was in the... Uh, oh, I forgot which Halo Legends one it was. The, uh, uh, the guy named Ghost. Uh, I, I completely forgot which one it was, but his name was Ghost, at least that we know him by. So I'm kind of using him to represent that guy. Uh, he died. Uh, and then we have Carter without his helmet. Wow, this thing really doesn't want to focus, does it? Or at least it doesn't look like it. Um, we have the Halo Wars guys. Uh, we have uh, Sergeant Forge. I was about to call him Cutter for some reason. And we have the Arbiter from Halo Wars. Really hoping that we get an Anders and Cutter figure later because I really love those um, characters. And then we have uh, Captain Keys, Tartarus, uh, Sergeant Johnson, Cat, uh, or Noble 2, 
And last but not least, we have, and this figure is not accurate, but I use it to represent pretty much one of my favorite Halo characters of all time. He is a really awesome character. His name is Kurt. He is a Spartan and the protagonist of Halo Ghost Phonics. Um, so yeah, then we move up here. Here's all my Halo games, plus I believe, yeah, Halo Legends is also up here. I still need to get the other uh, Halo, uh, the two live action movies, but um, I have one like on my computer and, and the other one is uh, on my Xbox One. We have Halo Wars in a steel case, Halo Reach, Halo uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary, uh, Halo 1, Halo 2, two copies of Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4 in a steel copy, or in a steel case, Halo Legends, the uh, anime, and then Halo, the Master Chief Collection, and then here's the uh, box for Halo 4, the, uh, you know, the, the big version, the limited edition. Behind those, if you can see, uh, there's a Halo 3 guide and then an essential Halo uh, kind of encyclopedia type thing, uh, which my friends got me, so that was really awesome of him. I uh, thank you for that. Um... And then here's all my Halo comics. I won't go, you know, into showing all of them, but I have every issue of, uh, pretty much every Halo issue that is out, except for the Fall of Reach ones and the most recent es Escalation one. The reason I don't have the most recent Escalation one is because my comic shop was like, yo, came in damaged, we'll reorder it for you. And I was like, okay, whatever. I have started getting two of each uh, of those, so like some of the a couple of the early issues and most of the later ones I have two of each on but aside from halo escalation i have halo initiation uh halo bloodlines halo uh uh the 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 od the hell jumper yeah hell jumper and then i have two um i have halo the graphic novel and then i have like uh, I have two of the uh, graphic novels. One of them's called Halo the Graphic Novel, but I forgot which one it is. One of them's pretty much what happens between Halo 2 and 3, and the other one is the first Halo graphic novel to come out. It kind of shows how uh, Ratas uh, lost one of his, or two of his uh, jaws, actually, and it shows a bunch of stuff like that, so that's really cool. Um, I'll show the books last, because that's my favorite part. Then we have Master Chief uh, up here from pretty much every era. Uh, we have him from Halo 1. Wow, this does not want to focus. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, we have the Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5, and Halo Legends. So I think that's incredible and looks just awesome up here. Even a Halo 5 figure, look at that. Um, they aren't even really out yet. Uh, except for that one, which I guess was like a pre-made figure. Anyway, um... Over here we have Halsey's Journal. I still have it in its wrap thing. I have really, honestly, I haven't really read it yet, and I feel bad for it because I've read almost all of them up here, and uh, I'll tell you guys which ones I haven't read. Um, but yeah, and with the comics, I haven't read the Halo Wars Genesis, at least. I think I read it when it first came out, but I don't remember it at all, so I'll need to reread that. Um, so yeah, I also need to read Halsey's Journal. Halo Evolutions, I have read some of the stories, not all of them. Um, aside from this big book, I got the two smaller ones, uh, half because I lost the big book and half because each of these contained uh, one or two exclusive stories in there, so I was like, yeah, I gotta get them. We have Halo The Fall of Reach, which I've read twice. Halo The Flood, I have not read. It was actually my first Halo book. I got it in a haul with a bunch of Star Wars books at one point. Um, this was really before I was into Halo, but um, it's still cool to have on the shelf. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get around to reading it. I feel kind of bad about not reading it, but I feel like I would get bored of it knowing what's going to happen because it's pretty much a retelling of Halo 1. Um, we have Halo First Strike, which I've read... Uh, as many times as The Fall of Reach, which is two or three times, actually. Um, Ghost of Onyx, I've read that two or three times. Contact Harvest, I've started it twice, have not been able to finish it. I'm just not... I guess I don't like it as much as the others, and I kind of feel bad for that, but, um, yeah, I, I, I really need to read it. Um, the Cold Protocol, I actually read semi-recently, and I really enjoyed it. It was really good, and Great Team uh, is amazing characters, as well as... I forgot his name, Diego or something, um, I feel bad for not remembering his name, but he was my favorite character in the book, he was like a marine, um, and then we have the two evolutions up there, 
Over here we have the Forerunner Saga, which is Cryptum, Primordium, and Silentium. Uh, all three of them are great books. Primordium um, may be an exception. Not saying that it's, I guess I'm not trying to say it's a bad book, but it bored the heck out of me. And that really bothered me. But uh, Cryptum and Silentium were two of my favorite Halo books. And it's really bothersome that Primordium was boring, but it was also book two in the three-part series. Um, I guess that, you know, it was kind of like, I think I've heard people compare it to Lord of the Rings, uh, because it pretty much uh, just has to do with these long, boring walking sequences, which just didn't entertain me. Um, I've read Glasslands uh, twice now. I read it when it first came out. Uh, just on my toe on my Xbox. Um, I read it when it first came out, and I also recently uh, listened to an audiobook version of it. Uh, you know, to kind of get myself familiar, because I was going to read the other two. Um, I've also started listening to an audiobook version of The Thursday War. Um, haven't really actually read the physical book. And then after I finish that, I'm going to move on to listening to an audio version of Mortal Dictata. Um, up here, we have Broken Circle and Hunters in the Dark, two of the newer ones. This one came out, like, in... August or November or something. I read it at school. It was really fun. I brought it to my PE class with me. Um, I'm in college, by the way, so we my PE class was like uber hella boring, and we were just like on treadmills a lot. And uh, yeah, pretty much I brought that with me and read it. And then Hunters in the Dark, I read in like a week, which you know was good timing for me because I'm usually a slow reader, not you know because I'm a bad reader, just because I want to be able to take in the book and I don't want to rush through it and whatnot, and I don't like reading too fast because I'll miss a bunch of stuff and I want to kind of read it slowly. But yeah, um, I guess that didn't have to do with anything. But Hunters in the Dark was really good. Aside from that, there is a Halo book called Halo New Blood about. These guys uh, down here, the ODSTs, specifically this one, Edward Buck, um, it is exclusively on the phone, so that uh, sucks. I hope that we get a physical uh, version of that book at some point, as well as Shadow of Intent that's releasing later this year, and the one about the AI Iona that is releasing later this month. Um, at least by the time that I'm making this. So yeah, here is my Halo shelf. I have like a large bin of just multiplayer Spartans, um, but you know, obviously I don't display them on the shelf. I'll kind of show you guys some of my other guys. These are guys who just like aren't even in the bin. They're just sitting here. Uh, we have a Brute Chieftain from Halo 3, like a Ghost, a Drop Pod, a bunch of guys here, including some customs, but mostly just a couple Spartans and the mostly Covenant guys. Um, still, I think they look really cool. And then, yeah, like down here we have a Warthog, and I've got a couple bins of the old, old Halo figures, which I think look incredible. Um, I may show them off at some point. I think that I showed you guys uh, when I got them in a haul or something, but I finally opened all of them, and um, I did a long time ago, and I love them. Anyway, uh, you know, this is just a portion of my Halo collection. This is probably what I'm most proud of from it. Uh, it's a really, uh, I really like the setup I'm doing, and I can't wait to get more shelves to display other, you know, other interests of mine, because it's just really, um, it's really fun to have all these guys, but I've been blabbing long enough now. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, um, of how I can modify the shelf, like, you know, if there's any characters from books or, uh, comics or games or anything that I can make into actual characters from like multiplayer figures that have been released uh, you, you know t leave it in the comments because I would love to know which other characters I could uh, actually make and if you guys have any suggestions for how I could rearrange a shelf either like as of the moment I'm making this video or uh, say that when Halo 5 Series 2 figures are released or something you know uh, just any, if any of you guys have any suggestions, uh, leave it in the comments because I would love to know um, different ways to organize this shelf. I love how I have it right now, but I love changing it. Um, and do you guys collect Halo stuff? And if so, what do you guys collect? But that's pretty much it for me rambling. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, keep collecting.